All right guys, so tonight I'm gonna fish a different spot than what um, I've ever fished before actually. Um, I'm in the same area as, as one of my usual spots, but wanted to change it up a little bit. Uh, a, wanted some different scenery, and two, just wanted to kind of explore a little bit and just try this area out. I've, I've had my eye on it, but I've never fished it, so came down to this spot, and I've, I've set up out here. We're gonna see what happens. Um, I'm using a 50-50 mix of cut bait and live bait. Uh, honestly, my goal is to catch fl some flatheads tonight, but we had a ton of rain come in this morning and it's kind of messed up my plans a little bit. Uh, one, water temperatures dropped 10 degrees almost overnight. Um, water level is rising and current's picking up. So I'm not sure what that's just going to do to the overall bite. Um, I don't know if that sudden temperature drop is going to mess up the flathead bite, but maybe it'll help the blue bite. I really don't know. So we're going to find out and see what happens tonight. Um, so that's why I'm kind of fish fishing 50 50. Um, one, hoping to entice some blues too, just in case uh, those flatheads aren't really feeding real well tonight. So that's my plan. Um, I've kind of got my bait staged. I've got one tossed up over here by the bank um, by some brush and structure. I've got one dropped out into a hole that. I'm not sure how deep it is. I didn't bring a sonar, but I was uh, testing with a paddle when I had a hard time finding the bottom. I knew uh, I found a hole because the average depth through here is about three to four feet deep. So got one over in a hole and then the rest of them I've just kind of got staged out across the river here. Um, like I said, about three or four foot of water. I'm gonna see uh, if we can catch something moving up through here. Uh, I'm hoping other than the sudden temperature change, hopefully the increase in current and uh, water level climbing will get something biting if uh, nothing else maybe we'll get some blues so you guys stay tuned and uh, we'll see what happens something and I'm wrapped around the log too. Let's see if he'll come out. Uh, I think I got him out. Yeah, he's, he's out. Turn it off, clicker. Can't get my clicker to go off. There it goes. It's back in. Oh, well. I think that's a blue cat. Feels like one. Either that or it's a channel cat. It's some sort of catfish. Nice blue cat. Man, look at the belly on that thing. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. I didn't get that one. Alright. Yeah, I guess. Look at the pot belly on this thing. He ain't big as nothing, but he's he is about to explode. Alright. Skunks out, y'all, with the baby football. Let me get it, see how I can see him good. Look at little belly on this thing. <laughs> He's a... Oh, don't do that. Little guy's been eating. Get him a toss back and a bait back up. This one came on a piece of cut bait. and Hopefully we'll get into something a little bit bigger than this, too. Here you go, football. All right, Trevor. <laughs> Said, all right, Trev. All right. Go on with your bad self. You had all kinds of energy a while ago. No, he don't want to go nowhere. Don't kill him. I ain't killed him. He was a little brat just a second ago. There he goes. He gone. Yeah, it's uh, not that big, man. As far as that lake and the pond goes, it's probably, you can catch, it's like not even from that island over there. Yeah, we're about to document Trevor uh, catching his first fish. <laughs> not first fish ever. <laughs> what, what do you have there? Little baby flathead? You done caught a little baby flathead. I'm here trying to catch flatheads and look, you've been here five minutes, then caught a flathead. 
an improvement from your uh, last flathead. Look at that. It's a baby one. Well, it's a flathead. There it is, guys. Trevor has caught a fish on camera. This is a this is a moment. We're going to document this. He's going to write it in his diary, probably. I'm going to take it home. I'm going to take it home. <laughs> Mount it. <laughs> we'll take a picture out so you can frame this this proud moment of you catching your first first fish in that's, the, pa in the that's past 12 months. At least 35 pounds. <laughs> 35? Well, you got one of them game warden skills they were talking about. <laughs> Live bait. Right there. I heard him smack in the water. Come on now. Get all tangled up. Another little old dinky something. Dinky. I can't even tell what it is. Channel cat. Daggum channel. Tip my flipping live bait. I hate a channel cat. Yeah, because he'll rip me a new one. That's embarrassing. Uh, I'm, I'm right there with you. Look at that. Stupid. Hey guys, well, between me and Trevor, we've got a trifecta now. Here's a dinky channel cat. That's not really a what I was after, but it's a fish, so I'm gonna be be thankful for him, I guess. But he can't, took a, I don't know, a right decent size uh, live bluegill. His mouth ain't even big enough to hardly put my thumb in, so that was a waste of that bait. But either way, get baited back up and toss him on back. All right, channel cat release. Just kidding. There he goes. He just about uh he Yeah, you just about, uh, about lost your eye there, buddy. <laughs> uh, you know, he ain't seen that big, is no, it? No, it's not. That one I didn't have that in there that good. Well, <laughs> I wish I'd had the camera running. Uh, oh, he doesn't run down the river. Something snapped though. I think it broke the rod holder. Let me grab some grippers. And I'll grab them real quick. What did I do with my grippers? There they are. Oh! <laughs> I mean, he creamed it. Yeah, that's a better flathead. Oh yeah, that's a nice flatty. Hold on, I don't mean grippers or that. Don't yank them eat. Yep. Ow! Now I got my pants wet. Mm. Yeah, that's a good fish. Oh, there's a there's a hole right there. Here, let me get him up. What'd he come on? Cut bait, live bait? Cut bait. Got him? Yeah. Let me get my finger out from him. All right. Sweet. Well, Trevor's improved a lot since his last fish there. It's a pretty one, man. About uh, lost his rod. I don't. I didn't get that part on camera, <laughs> but he ripped his rod holder off and uh, he made a dive for it and got it before it went in the water. But best best flathead, best fish I've ever seen you catch, man. Your, uh, your luck's improving. Skunk's off though. Yeah, skunk's gone. Big time. Let him go. Alrighty. See if he goes out here and leaves a wake. You wanna go home? Well oh, that was pitiful. I knew that'd happen if I recorded. Oh he's going back along and bite one of mine, we'll reel you back here.
Well, I didn't get this one on video. I turned the camera off instead of turning it on, but Trevor's luck is uh, continuing to be in his favor, and <laughs> mine's not. <laughs> I can't catch nothing, but pretty, pretty blue. Got a little cut bait, too. Get a couple pictures and uh, let me toss it on back. All right. I'm gonna release videos since I can't take real in a minute videos. I'm a failed videographer. That's nice how to clean them up. Clean them up? Yeah, make them look pretty. Come on, man. <laughs> you gonna go or not? It was the water feels good though. Yeah, it actually, the water feels warm as cold as it's got me. But it's getting so foggy out here. He don't want to leave. Yeah, he's going now. Go. There he goes. Nice. Yep. Well, there it is, y'all. There's our setup for the night. I'm a. Uh, finally in the tent we'll see uh maybe if i try to take a nap i'll actually catch something so far my luck's been pretty crappy trevor's uh actually catching fish and i'm getting bites but every time i try to set the hook uh i pull the hook or they let go or something but i can't i can't catch a fish to save my life tonight so i'm gonna try the whole take a nap nap trick and see if uh maybe i can actually catch another fish for uh i guess morning if not, I'll see you guys in the morning. Put the clicker in and run it yet. Got him. There we go. Let's see if I can get it in without pulling the hook out. I hope I got my fish. We have to prove that I can catch a fish. Snake? Yeah, he's down here. I was wide awake. <laughs> yeah, I don't want nothing to do with him. This one's actually got a little bit of pull to it. Hopefully it'll be bigger than the last two. <laughs> yeah. I was laying funny on my hand. My hand's asleep. Are you pulling it right? I think it is. Yep. I'm going to try to spin them back around to you. Oh yeah, a little flathead. You wasn't weight, man? Yeah, we get this. Oh yeah. Ain't bad at all. <clears throat> Alright guys. There we go. So it's pretty, uh, pretty solid fish to wake up to right here. Definitely uh, tickled to see him. Came on a piece of cut bait too, imagine that. So, let y'all get a good view. It's been a slow night, but uh, I'll take it, considering this is what it ended up being. Oh, man. <coughs> Alrighty. Try to get it so y'all can see him good. Well, we can get a couple pictures and we'll get him back in the water. Alright, y'all. I've got Trevor videoing for me and try to get some better footage of this fish. Oh! What y'all? 
check him out. We'll get a length on him here in a little bit. But oh, he's got a he's got some got some girth on him, yo. Oh, look at that. Hey, he's pretty long actually. Yeah. Oh mate. A chunk. Alright. There we go. Back in the water. In the water, you can play. Oh, he's already getting rejuvenated. Probably take him just a little bit to jump start. There he goes. There we go. No, I got a good fish on there. <laughs> um, let me see. Yeah, so now he's done wrapped it. No, he's still pulling. Nah, he'd wrapped into something too. He's not as big. Uh, I think, oh, I've got this line. Yeah, go ahead and grab it. I'm gonna try to work. This one's full like a flathead. Here, I'm gonna come. Now, nah, I don't know what I've done, actually. That's impressive, whatever I've done. That's real impressive. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, that's another flathead. I literally just threw this one out five minutes ago. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. I didn't even have my bait in the water for five minutes and got another one on the same ride that last one came on. So. Maybe my luck is turning around a little bit here, but another pretty flatty. That's the uh, fourth flathead for the night too, which is uh, that's a good night in my opinion. I tickled to get him, get him tossed back. I'm gonna bait on back up. Oh, there you go. All right, guys, check it out. I uh, I talked Trevor into uh, getting him a uh, new canoe. Well, I, I say I talked it in, talked him into it. I want to take credit for it anyhow, but. Either way, he's joined the new canoe, new canoe club. He got him a Frontier 12, just like me, except uh, he's got that. What color is that one? Thunderstorm. It's, uh, Thunderstorm. So he's got the, it's a cool color. They didn't have that color when I bought mine. Available anyhow. But just wanted to let you guys see that. We'll get Mitchell out here on one of these trips, and we can have uh, all three of us in our new canoes. So. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this trip. It actually uh, turned out a lot better than I thought it was going to. Uh, I know when I made my opening video there, I was kind of questioning on how the night would actually turn out, especially as far as flatheads go. Um, I mentioned we had a temperature drop. So the water temperature was 78 degrees a couple days ago, and it dropped all the way down to 68 degrees yesterday from the rain we had. So wasn't sure that was what it was going to do. Uh, I will say that they weren't really interested in live bait. I was fishing half live and Trevor, I think had half live bait out there. And uh, other than that one channel cat, didn't have any action on live bait. Everything was on cut bait. So don't know, uh, don't know if the temperatures had something to do with that or not, but either way, as you saw, we got into some uh, quality fish. Um, so tickled to death to catch them. Uh, also happy to see Trevor catch some fish finally and uh, get his, his uh, year long skunk out. But either way, I appreciate all you guys watching the video. If y'all uh, enjoyed it, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to hit subscribe. And if you have questions, leave them in the comments below. If you're on social media, check out Rock Bottom Cats on Instagram and Facebook. And check out NC Catfishing if you haven't done so already. Uh, it's a Facebook group I started 
about a year and a half ago we broke uh, 6500 members yesterday uh, and the page has really taken off a lot of uh, great people on there great information and, and you get to see all the catches around north carolina so uh, make sure you jump over there and check that out as well so either way uh, once again i appreciate all you guys watching and i'll catch you guys next time